Welcome. Uh, this is video number five of eight videos. Um, this one here, we're going to take the centrifuge apart and basically demystify it. Everybody seems to think it's a high-tech piece of equipment, and it really isn't. The centrifuge was basically built to be mounted on diesel engines, large diesel engines, tractor trailer, large Cummings, uh, Caterpillar, Komatsu engines, um, and basically the it cleaned the oil in the sump, be it hydraulic oil, automotive oil. Um, they've been around since at least the 30s. They were mounted on World War II battleship engines. Um, excellent for purifying oil. Uh, I mean, be it motor oil, hydraulic oil, waste vegetable oil. This is a 55 gallon per hour model and that means every hour it'll process 55 gallons. To get down to below one micron, you'd have to do four to six passes, which once the oil is heated, you turn it on and you can go away, come back, and you've got spotless oil. You can get rid of your uh, filter bags, all the filtering, all the mess that goes along with it. Uh, let's take it apart and kind of explain things, okay? This is the cover. Um, after you've been using this, you can pull this cover off, and other than maybe some mist, there really it's not like oil is going to be pouring out of here. The oil all falls into the base of the housing. So you can pull this out, and this is where all the oil would be laying. Uh, this is the rotor, and it's pretty simple. Okay, there's the inside. That's what we have. That's all the pieces. Okay. Um, as far as the base, there's a plunger, and the plunger has for waste vegetable oil, cleaning oil, it really has no use whatsoever. Uh, the plunger is there for when it's mounted on an engine to keep the oil from running up in there until the pressure is met. Okay. Um, you could either take it out or leave it in. Really doesn't make any difference. You're running it 75 to 85 psi. It's going to move the plunger back. Okay. The oil comes in here, up the shaft. You see the two holes in the shaft. This sits on it. The oil comes out these two holes. fills up the rotor and with the nozzles 180 degrees opposite of each other you get the spinning action at 40 psi's we're talking basically 4500 rpms uh, 60 psi close to 6200 80 psi we're talking 7500 rpms that is the force that will separate all the contaminants from the oil. Okay, um, here's one you don't see too often. For cleaning out the rotor, it's basically just a piece of cardboard. Stick it in there. Once the rotor's dirty, that's what you pull out and all the contaminants come with it. Let's put this all back together here. It's very simple to do. These are balanced, so you'll see the two arrow, arrows. You line the arrows up. And there you go. Put the top back on. And you're ready to go. Um, one thing I didn't show you, which I should have. Ours doesn't come with a mounting bracket. We mount this right on a closed drum. Notice the four bolt holes. And this is where the oil, the one and a half inch hole, where the oil will drain back into the drum. It's, it's all real simple. 
It really is. Um, you know, I know these prices are ranging up to, for a 55 gallon, up to $2.99. Uh, there really is no reason to pay that kind of money. Okay? Um, this is a good centrifuge. You really won't have any problems with it. So, we're at PA Biodiesel Supply. This one is $179.99 with free shipping. View our other videos. Thank you.